Hi guys, I want to show you how to load geographic data. It's a uh, raster files if you're using GIS, but it's it's the same for any kind of oceanographic purpose you want, or even any other environmental purpose you want. I will um, try and uh, demonstrate this on ocean current data. So the tool I'm, I'm going to use is the NASA world view. I just Google it. You will probably have to sign in. I'm already signed in. And what I'm getting is real-time data as much as I can from the NASA satellites. But I can add layers. Since we are looking for currents, we will look for currents and you see the four different databases publishing surface currents but i will use this one because it's the first one and you can see that the layer is added here i don't see anything because i don't have currently no data but if i go back in time it takes some time but the da data is is available Now if I want to download the data, I choose the data set and I search. I don't know if it finds anything for my specifications, but Possibly the date range is not available yet for download. So let's just give it older and uh, longer range of dates. So we go to 2021 instead of currently. And let's give it some date range. That's a month and search. You can see I have many files I can download. It's not exactly the date range that I wanted. It's all of the date because I cleaned the date range, but if you browse here, you can add one of the da da uh, files to the download specifications okay so I'm already logged in you'll have to create your own account By the way, I don't have to download the whole world. There's an option there to minimize the range you're downloading. And let's just go for direct download. And this is the file, the file. This is NASA, the several different pages, but I can download an etcdf file, which you can just open in QGIS. At least for our course, we are done.